Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the daily stock market and look at that, a huge red day in the stock market overall taking the turn for the worst midday with the stock market. Some stocks down around 7.8% like Coinbase. JPM is down huge, 5.4%. Tesla down 5%. So make sure you stay throughout this entire video because we are going to dive into a few different stocks. Um, JPM Morgan is a good one to be diving into as well because if we take a look at what's happening with JPM just in the past a um, couple of weeks, we see they're down 10%. So it could be a buying opportunity and it could be a good thing to play puts down to $105 per share on JPM. There's a possibility $105 to $115. So the downward momentum could be there to capitalize on. So make sure you stay throughout the entire video so you don't miss out on that update. We're also going to go over Silvergate Capital, ticker symbol SI, because it's been super volatile. As you can see in the pre-market, it was down 50% and then ended up rallying 53% mid-market, okay, from $2.46 per share to $3.65 per share, okay? It was only down 22%, um, and then it went down another 25% to finish off the day, finishing at $2.86 per share. So what's going on with Silvergate Capital? We're going to go over it in this video. And in the past year, they're down 97%. So is this a bankrupt situation going on or does Silvergate Capital have the capability to bounce back to around $100, $150 per share like it was just one year ago? Absolutely massive success is going on in our private group right now. Here you can see one member saying was down $500 at 8 a.m. and finished the day up $900 gain. Can't expect a better comeback. Had the bot, took some bot calls and chat message in VIP chat room. Really helped today. And that really means the world to see that people are not only becoming a better trader from joining our group, but also making money directly in the process so here you can see a 500 dollars gain and this is all just from today quick 15 minutes in and out made a couple hundred dollars there another trader with over six w's just in one day averaging around a hundred dollars per w we have a video of some success there and this is all just some success from today we also see another top trader here you can see the top trader badge so you can recognize people in our community who are top traders with over a ten thousand dollar day 137 percent gain so not only can you learn from me and take some of my trade trades but some of our top traders consistently post their trades they're taking every single morning um, and it can help answer some of your guys' questions as well. So that's why not only are you seeing the top traders making a lot of money, but uh, everybody in the group, these are still success stories just from today of members in our group who are making money. Quick $200 in the morning at 7.30 a.m. Love to see that success. So if you want to join our private group, just head over to my Instagram, the daily stock market, now 195 thousand followers on instagram message me there and i'll send you a link to join now let's get back to the video so the first stock that we're going to be talking about silvergate capital down 97 percent in the past year and we're wondering if this stock can bounce back so we scroll down and what we can see here is that it has a 90 million dollar market cap so it's a very very small stock now at one point it was billions and billion dollar market cap now, here is an article that I quickly want to go over. Crypto stocks slide after Silvergate decides to shut down. And you can see Coinbase affected by this down 7.7%. Riot also affected by this down 12%. Shares of crypto focused companies fell on Thursday after Silvergate Capital Corp disclosed plans to wind down operations and voluntarily liquidate, aka bankruptcy. As the aftermath of FTX implosion last year reverberates through the industry, shares of Silvergate plunged more than 35% to $3.17 per share after hitting a record low and have lost more than 64% since March. And that's even worse now, as we just went over. They're below $3 per share. Analysts said a complete closure of the crypto lender could take 
one or two years, depending on how quickly outstanding loans are repaid and assets are disposed of. Um, Silvergate's latest move adds to the list of high profile collapses amongst crypto market players since last year. And this was a huge billion dollar wipeout. Keep in mind, this is a company that's been around since 1988. So they're not just like a new player in the space, kind of like FTXs. They've been around for a long time. So this is a huge deal when we see a big, big time player like Silvergate going completely bankrupt. We believe this decision was made in part to help mitigate Silvergate Bank's legal liability related to the FTX bankruptcy. Um, an analyst said Silvergate did not um, immediately respond. Meanwhile, shorting the shares of Silvergate have proven very profitable for bearish investors as the shares have lost 95% of their value in the last 12 months and 72% so far this year. And those numbers are even higher now that we just checked. Nearly 85% of the company's free float is under short position with short sellers making $240 million in year-to-date mark-to-market profit, according to some analysts. While Silvergate said its liquidation plans include a full repayment of all deposits, many within the crypto industry were still left wondering how the bank's demise would impact other firms. As the situation continues to unfold, we have to closely monitor whether exchanges can smoothly transition from Silvergate and whether Silvergate truly is sufficiently capitalized, said another analyst. Okay, shares of the Peer Signature Bank, which has been pivoting away from crypto since last year, fell more than 11%. So that could be another one to look into shorting. Okay, Signature Bank could be next. Just be careful because there's no guarantee that Signature Bank will collapse next. However, they did fall 11% today, implying that they are sympathy trading from this whole situation going on and they could be affected. Puts on Coinbase could also play beneficial. Okay, crypto exchanges Coinbase, which cut their ties with Silvergate last week, dipped more than 7%. Um, Mi Miner, Riot Blockchain fell more than 11%. Marathon Digital, another miner, also fell. Bitcoin was trading at 20,000 near its lowest level since January, with analysts and investors saying the market impact of the news was limited as it was widely expected. However, we do see Bitcoin down quite a lot right now in Ethereum. So it could be from the whole fallout of this situation going on. Now, how I want to play Silvergate Capital is wait for the meme stock and Reddit people to come in and pump the stock back up. There's pro possibility that it could even get to around $5 per share or $13 per share. But if Silvergate gets even back up to $5 per share, um, then I think that there's a good um, money to be made in shorting the stock once again. So once it goes up to $5 per share, then I'll be a little bit interested here. So we'll put the price uh, moves above $5 per share. We'll be alerted when Silvergate goes above $5 per share. And at that point, we might take out some puts um, and short Silvergate capital once again. But if you want to see exactly what I'm going to be doing and if I am going to be acting on that thought about Silvergate Capital, uh, shorting Silvergate Capital at $5 per share, just message me on Instagram, get on my close friends list because then you can see all my trades in live time, all strike prices, expiration dates, and it's good for beginner traders or advanced traders. Okay, so let's talk about JPM Chase down 5.4% on the day. They're a banking stock as well. So they're feeling a little bit of uh, the fallout from the whole situation going on with ticker symbol SI. All right, so we see JPM. This could be a buying situation closer to $29 per share. We see that support um, where recently in December was as low as $129 per share. Now, remember, we do have a yearly low closer to $101 to $105 per share. There's no guarantee that JPM will go that low. $115 is a good price point for JPM. Personally, I have it set at $115. I'm going to move it to $116 just so I get that alert a little bit early there. As we scroll down, we can see that this company has been around for forever 
It also has a PE ratio of 11.4, implying that even at the current price of $130 per share, right now it is trading at a fair valuation and below the market average, implying that it's actually undervalued and a pretty good deal right now. We also see that it is a dividend stock paying 2.9, so it's a great dividend stock. I personally have JPM in my dividend portfolio where I'm dollar cost averaging every single day. However, $115 per share, 116, I'll buy a little bit heavier at that price point to get a better deal because I do like JPM for long term. And I think there's a 100% guarantee that it will go back to new all time highs to around $175 per share. Although it could, no one knows how long that's going to take. Obviously, it could take one year, two year, five year, 10 year. Um, but in my personal opinion, I don't think it'll take any longer than two to five years. So I'm comfortable with holding JPM for a while because remember, they are paying that sweet, sweet dividend also of 2.9. And the last stock that we'll briefly talk about is Tesla down to $171 per share falling, falling, falling with a lot of downward momentum down 11% just in the past week down 14% in the past month. In some of my last videos, I talked about how Tesla can dip. In my close friends list, when Tesla was above $200 per share, we talked about Tesla getting closer to $179 per share. So that's why so many people have made so much money on Tesla puts because we caught it at a great time. We saw the downtrend coming for Tesla stock, all the hype behind and the FOMO behind Tesla stock. Um, and right now it's just headed down. There's a good chance that we're going to see it fall below $165 per share and closer to $145 per share. So don't be surprised if we do see Tesla at $145. I think that's a great place to continue dollar cost averaging in to Tesla stock for long term. However, I mainly want to buy most of my shares below $125. And I think there's a strong possibility that I can continue to dollar cost average the heaviest under 125 and keep my average cost below 125. OK, so there's a lot of times that Tesla has dipped below 125 in the past. There's been a lot of buying opportunities in the past. Will we get another buying opportunity? Nobody knows. But that's why dollar cost averaging in even at 170 per share for long-term investing in a Tesla is the best thing you can do. I definitely think that we'll see 165, and I also think in the next couple months, we'll see $145 per share on Tesla. So thank you guys for all the continued love and support you have been showing on the YouTube and Instagram page. Give me a big thumbs up on this video if you absolutely love it. Make sure you share it with your friends if you found value in this video. If you want to join the close friends list, message me on Instagram. I have a few more spots to fill at a discounted rate, so I'll send you over my website and be more than happy to teach you all about the stock market, even from a very beginner level and take you to an advanced trader, just like the thousands and thousands of other success stories that we've had in the past as well. So click on success number seven if you want to read even more success stories. Thank you guys for the love and support. As long as you keep liking these videos, I'll keep making them for you guys. YouTube is the only place to find the full length videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.